Welcome to this special series of Local Focus, where we delve into the impact of a tragic event that has deeply impacted our local community. On May 28, 2024, a powerful explosion destroyed most of the first floor and severely damaged additional floors of the Realty Building in the downtown district of Youngstown, Ohio. The blast caused the untimely passing of a bank employee and injured several others. The explosion has created challenges and emotional turmoil for downtown residents and businesses alike. On this special edition of Local Focus, we spoke with community business owners and leaders regarding downtown residents, specifically the residents of International Towers, located next to the Realty Building. It provides income-based housing to older individuals and those with disabilities. We sat down with residents of International Towers to share their experiences on the day of the explosion, the abrupt evacuation from their homes, the inconveniences of displacement, and their heartbreak. Join us for this special series, We Are the Aftermath. In this episode of We Are the Aftermath, the Explosion, the displaced residents of International Towers share their firsthand experience of the blast on May 28, 2024. I work at Mocha House downtown by Eastern Gateway. I had just gotten off at two o'clock and the incident happened at 2.40. I was sitting in my apartment um, by my table <laughs> and all of a sudden I heard it sounded like thunder or a bomb and then the whole building shook. And all I heard was a big boom and the whole building shook. And by the time my window was open and all I heard was, oh my God, oh my God. And I ran to the window because I'm in the front. I'm on 11, <clears throat> like right in the middle. Um, and I don't know what made me look left, but I heard my friend downstairs, oh my God, oh my God, the bank blew up. I don't know what made me look right, but as soon as I looked to the right, I saw brown smoke, black smoke, and like people scattering. And I heard something crash. And I'm looking and looking, I'm like, okay, ain't nothing falling here. You know, so I looked out the front, I looked out the front window. So I looked, I'm like, wow, like I seen glass, I seen the, um, the firefighters, people coming and everything. I'm like, wow, like what's going on? So I'm looking. I got up, I was getting ready to go look out the window to see what happened, but my phone rang. Realized it was one of my friends that lived in the building. They're like, hey, come outside. There was an explosion. So I immediately grabbed my keys, ran downstairs, seeing what was happening, ran to the front, seeing what I could see. I was like, uh, that's not supposed to be there. That's not good. Then my dog went to the window, started barking. I seen people go to the side looking and pointing. And um, I went outside. You know, I was told I had to come out of the building, knocking on doors. They were knocking on doors and making sure people were evacuating. So I, I ran to the elevator and then I went downstairs and I ran to the front of the building. I wasn't prepared for what I saw. I saw them carrying people out. I heard screaming. Um, it, it was just a lot of chaos at the time. And my heart, like I just started crying. I was like, I felt everything that they were going through. I don't know why, but it's just, I had to focus and see, cause I thought I was seeing things, but like, it was just chaos down there and the people were, you know, all over the fire. People were all over. They had a triage set up over a double tree. That's where they were carrying the people. And then um, I think I may have saw them carrying out the one lady that they had to intubate in the hospital because it was she was wrapped up in a blanket. It was scary. To watch all We Are the Aftermath episodes, visit pbswesternreserve.org. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook.